Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you for the day of Tuesday, June the 4th, 2024. First of all, first thing for yourself, without any book, without looking at any any card, without anything, just trusting your heart, really, the vibe of your heart. Which number attracts you, first of all? And then you can ask the archangel who is guiding us this day to achieve perfect and divine health. Archangel Raphael, why you were directed towards that particular number, what it reflects for you, what it means for you, what it can bring for you, what it can enhance, and where pain exists, what form of pain and suffering can be released and transmuted and changed because you paid attention, because you listened. Because the number six of the card itself here, as you look at the vision, is the number of coming together with the universe. You're merging with the universe. You're becoming one with all of the light. And all of your divine self is coming together easily and effortlessly. And very, very gracefully, you don't have to try too hard this day at all in any way. Because Archangel Raphael is right there in front of you. With all of his palms open, his heart chakra ready to just send whatever is needed through his heart chakra. And you can keep on looking at this vision throughout the day and keep on asking, which realm of feeling it is that you're dealing with. Now, what does that mean? Basically, are you dealing with health issues, financial issues? Are you dealing with things related to your immediate environment, to career, something that is a practical problem, paperwork, whatever form of fear that it is that you carry right now, about whatever it is regarding. Again, if it's a decision you have to make, a relationship, a relationship with your own self, you feel that you don't have a good relationship even with your own guardian angel, that you don't even know who the angels are, or you're not spiritually high, highly qualified in that sense. You don't have to be highly qualified. You just have to trust and believe that you know that you're receiving divine guidance and how you're receiving it in your own unique fashion. In fact, when the message of the day did not come this day, and I had several delays in being able to send it to you, I could have thought that. That why am I being delayed this day? Because it is your your chance to actually come more into your unique, you can say, vibration, to receive it when you're meant to receive it and why it's been delayed to you, you can ask that too. Because if you see the two people in front of him, what you're being asked to do right now might not even relate to what is being projected over here. But if you see all of the light, all of the rays of light, green and golden and white, very softly are just going into the heart chakra of the woman and the man, and then they're merged with each other. So this is the day to achieve harmony with loved ones, to invite, to attract, to cleanse, to clear, to understand, And anywhere there's misunderstanding, or if it is to do with your reputation or sense of power, all of that can be cleansed and cleared again. Why? You can look at this beautiful doorway to peace, literally bringing the power of love, divine love, in all of its capacity, in all its layers whatever details you need to understand and protect even 
You don't even know what problems you're dealing with. That's why he's got his hands out. Just ask and I will just set it forward for you. You don't have to do anything over here. Just ask. Give me the chance to help you by asking. Because remember, as powerful as he is and capable of taking care of all of the universe in all different forms and aspects, your sense of fulfillment will only come when you choose to invite it and are ready for it and are receptive to it, that you trust, that you have that faith. And you might also see what is that design over there on his gown? Why does he have all these symbols and talismans and all that? You don't have to understand because each portion of the design will make sense to you when it's meant to make sense to you. You just choose what is the reason you're calling upon him and what you want to cleanse and where you want to literally feel lighter. Feeling power again is in focus and will bring you fulfillment. And that doesn't mean that thoughts are just put in the background because it is a lovely, lovely circle of light hovering clockwise above his crown, inviting Choosing, creating, cleansing, changing, replacing, rejuvenating, whatever it is that you want to do in your thoughts. Where it is your, you can say unhappy with your thoughts this day. Choose to not become happy instead. That's why those bubbles of light are coming as ideas and inspiration. Maybe even conversations that you're supposed to have with loved ones that will just pop up where they're supposed to. Don't hold back, just speak up. That doesn't give you a license to be rude or to hurt. Never ever will the angelic forces help in putting someone down. So this this is not giving you a license to do that. It's instead saying replace it and change it. The misunderstandings will lessen, not increase. So intimate Relationships, that's that's the very first word that comes up with your own self, with your spiritual team, with the loved ones around you, your immediate family, and of course, your soulmate to recognize them. If you, if you have not got into an intimate relationship as yet, if you are in an intimate relationship and experiencing problems, what is it that you need to understand about your partner? how to bring more romance and magic and the sense of innocence back into your everyday. So carefully also weigh over your decisions. And that is why his wings are completely moved out into the universe. The open completely. He's receptive. He's available. He's present. Literally present. So then again, you don't have to think about which one is past and which one is future. Sometimes we get into all of that. And we don't use the symbols because we just like, I don't remember how it goes. Which color goes where? Don't worry about that this day. How is it that your heart feels it should be? See the bubbles of light again appear in the center of the wings this time. And they will direct you what you need to release, what is baggage for you, what no longer works in your life, what has served its time, the relationships that you moved on from, to remove the guilt and regret related to the same, and just be able to move ahead beautifully. And that is why it's looks like the rays of light are clearing away something, are cleaning something, even now, as you see this. That's true. Trust that. And bring into yourself then and invite to yourself that which you do want to retain, the foundation that you want to hold on to, the attributes, family, friends, soulmates, however it is. You define it for yourself. There's no language here. There's no ritual here. Just you. Believing and asking and receiving from Archangel Raphael what it is that you need. That's why very close to his crown, 
it's lit up. So you'll be excited about it. Trust your feelings that way, also related to the decisions that you make this day. Your your decisions and your feelings are flowing together. What does that mean again? Basically, if you're making a decision that feels incorrect to you, is cold, is difficult to make, has too many problems related to it rather than solutions and movement, then that is also some kind of indication. And you can again ask Archangel Raphael, am I interpreting that correctly? So you can even trust then your heart's magnet and your heart's language to be open, that you're listening. You have the capacity to make decisions through your heart this day. And then if you're excited and happy and lighthearted, all is good with a particular form of movement and expression in a space, in a form of expression with a group of people related to a particular situation. And you're just seeing all kinds of problems just vanishing, you can say. Then that is the right path for you. And you can trust that too. And again, you can ask for that. You never have to go through this decision-making process alone and say that, oh, if I have all this great intuition, then why do I need the angelic forces and why do I need the divine forces? Because you will not trust it. Just being in a human body and having all the problems that you have on planet Earth. It cannot be helped. That's just the way it is. So that's okay. You'll get good health. That's the final blessing you can say you're receiving this day. On this card, that doesn't mean that you don't invite whatever you want to invite because, see, there's so much movement of light both on the left and right side of him, both for clearing and cleansing and for creating and magnifying your wishes, what you wish to enhance, what you wish to invite, what you wish to attract, what you wish to create, however it is that you want to do it. Then his wings are going out into the right side of the hemisphere. And this time it's full. That means just look and feel only what your dream, your wishes getting realized, your prayer being heard, your prayer going into the Akashic spaces, taking on the divine language, you receiving the divine guidance, you receiving the therapy that you need. Again, from Archangel Raphael and his legion of angels this time. So it's fresh for you. So you don't think like, I'm always trying that. I've always tried that prayer and it just backfires. Take that thinking out first and foremost. Put yourself right there into this gown and invite this holy light then to pour down into all parts of you, mind, body, spirit golden and emerald green and white merged beautifully together and moving around ever so nicely and gracefully clockwise you're feeling your dream realized you're living in your dream realized you're speaking where you need to speak you're being heard where you need to be heard you're creative you're happy you're accepted, however it is that you want this to happen. And you might say that I only have one problem, really. Then focus on that problem with all details this day. And then the other aspect of that can be that I have too many problems, and which one do I focus on? Again, ask for priority. What is important for me right now? What it is that I need to focus on? Because if you see this open space, both on the left and right side of him, again creating a huge circle of light and balance so that you don't have to think too much and try too much and worry too much. Just as soon as that comes up, put it into that landscape and transmute it back into light. What is best for you will only appear 
within your immediate space then. That you don't have to keep on worrying about something that is really not worthwhile. And if you see, also, the two people are not moving. They're just receptive. They're just listening. So continue to just trust your intuition throughout this day and keep on asking. And don't think that you're going to tire out the angelic forces or the legions of angels working with Archangel Raphael. And even his hair then is so gracefully flowing down on the left side of him, merging with the baggage. You, you might say, why is it merging with the baggage? Because it's bringing to you only that truth which is best for you to have here and now. For your immediate concerns, you can say. It'll be balanced out. And then the right side, the same thing. That you don't worry about anything that is of no importance at all. You're only getting then guidance related to movement and change and creativity and actually moving forward to where you want to be, hope to be, would like to be. You're going there. And so use this also affirmation that will help you listen to your heart that much easier. Loving angels and all powerful archangels, in this moment I surrender my feelings to the divine and choose to completely trust what I feel as I know, that is the angels answering my prayers. And never forget that major, major important fact about the angels, the archangels, all the beings of light in the angelic kingdom. They will never come forward without your asking and believing in them, really. So your feelings, they're always speaking anyway. Just make this a habit from today onwards. Choose to listen. And when it does not work for you, ask them to change it, to replace it. That is why you were asked to recognize where it is that you're excited and where it is that you feel irritated, angry, negative in any way. It doesn't work for you, right? That pathway, that ex form of expression within the relationship, something is going wrong. You recognize what it is that you need to do to bring it back to divine flow. You can ask for that today. Archangel Raphael, help me with the put in the divine flow for whatever. It doesn't just have to be a relationship. Wherever flow is needed in some way, but related to your feelings. And your feelings will be the indicator. So ask for signs then. Signs to appear as feelings. How nice is that? How easy is that? Right? To interpret. You don't have to keep on looking around everywhere. You'll just know. And thoughts, of course, they'll just add to that wonderful flow of light and guidance. And love. Purely flowing from the divine spaces, the Akashic spaces to you now. So your feelings are always speaking. Just take a moment today to hear what they have to say. It's a very simple process. We make it far more complicated than it needs to be. And your feelings are always accurate and pure. If you make an intention to understand, you'll receive your message because you chose you wanted, you had an intention in mind and you trusted Archangel Raphael to do it with you and for you. Of course it will be done then. It will just flow forward as it's meant to. And as you keep on looking, you also see two people not just together, but also you with the Divine Ones, protected we don't often think of Archangel Raphael with protection. We always 
attributed usually to Archangel Michael, but this time it's you. Protected by Archangel Raphael and your feelings because you choose to remove the residue that is dark, disturbing, negative, and un unhealthy. That's where Archangel Raphael comes in, removing ill health in any way, mind, body, spirit, from you and your immediate environment and what affects you long term even. You can choose to see that within this vision and you will achieve good health. Of course you will. And this comes to you so beautifully from the Archangel, I apologize, <laughs> Angel Tarot by Dorian Virtue and Bradley Valentine and the super flow and glitter of pure divine love just flows to you and glows through you and through the art of Steve A. Roberts. Steve can be contacted at F-A-N-T-A-S-Y dash graphic G-R-A-P-H-I-C dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. So enjoy and invite the lovers in all forms, in all realms of your life. For love is the ultimate victory. Bye for now.